the guys, Tin Man here. I've grabbed the old window motor out again and I decided to stick my twin back EMF system on it, see how it goes. I've also just set a coil on the top out of a microwave oven going through a poppy voltage doubler. The back EMF from the trigger coil is also going into the voltage doubler and that is getting fed back through this diode and into our run caps and of course we've got our other diode on our run caps going to the start of the run coil so we can feed power back into the run caps. The back EMF from our run coil is of course going back into our run caps as well so we've pretty much well got everything we can get going back into the run caps. Now those run caps are 1000 microfarads, 25 volts. There's two of them hooked up in parallel which gives us 2000 microfarads. The voltage doubler caps are 16 volts at 1000 microfarads each. They're hooked in series so only 500 microfarads of capacity there. Um, if you see the voltage go up when I disconnect it from our run caps, so it's indeed working well. Hook it back up, of course, it goes back down to our run cap voltage plus the 0.6 volts that we're losing that diode there. Um, the bottom coil of course is also out of a microwave oven that I split in half as in pulled, lifted the wire out gently halfway through the coil, cut it so I'm using one half as our run coil and one half as our trigger coil. I got them within two ohms of each other so that was a pretty good guess and that's how it's all working and it's working extremely fine now a lot of people might say well 2000 microfarads is quite a bit well it's not really this cap here is 3300 microfarads 25 volts I've just got a little 2.5 volt LED hooked up to it course in there and you will see that when I disconnect the transformer bang lights out that's how long it lights lasts so not very long at all and uh, that's got a bigger capacity than our run caps on that and this thing's going going and going it's been going for about half an hour now. I put um, 4 volts in the caps because that's what we were running it with before. It's one of these 4 volt batteries. And that's how far it's come down in about half an hour. As you can see it's running extremely efficient. I'm almost wondering how to go in a vacuum box without the drag on the rotor from the wind because it's got some awfully big paddles in there as you can see I'll just stop that big flat bladed magnets um, most guys use wide ones with the north or the fields facing out these fields are actually on the flat sides so you put north and north there and it makes like a big flower field all the way around the rotor much better than the other setups. <coughs> so there you go. It's building up speed, building up the voltage in the voltage doubler. So the 
generator coil is definitely working. Very quiet video without any noise. No rumbling bearings. No ticking relays. So that's it. The voltage does go down. So she's not unity but she's very very efficient. Very efficient. Okay. That's the update on the window motor guys. Cheers.